Mastering Politeness in English, Navigating in Direct Communication. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a crucial aspect of communication that can make a big difference in how your messages are received, the art of being indirect. Understanding the phrase, don't be too direct, can help you navigate social interactions more smoothly and effectively. So, let's get into it and unravel the nuances together. Indirectness in communication is about conveying your message in a way that is not blunt or overly straightforward. This approach can make your interactions more polite and considerate, especially in cultures where directness might be perceived as rude or too aggressive. When someone advises you to, don't be too direct, they're essentially guiding you to soften your language or choose a more subtle way to express your thoughts and requests. Being indirect can be crucial in maintaining harmony and respect in conversations. It allows you to avoid offending others with harsh words or demands, provide feedback or criticism in a way that is easier for the recipient to accept and understand, Navigate sensitive topics without causing discomfort or escalation. In many situations, mastering the balance between being clear and being considerate can enhance your relationships and professional interactions. Let's look at some examples to illustrate how you can be indirect in English. 1. Instead of saying, Give me that report by tomorrow, you could say, would it be possible for you to get me that report by tomorrow? 2. Rather than stating, I don't like this, a more indirect approach could be, This isn't quite what I was expecting. Could we explore some other options? 3. Instead of asking, Why did you do that? You might say, I'm curious about what led to that decision. These examples show how rephrasing your statements and questions can make a significant difference in the tone and reception of your message. Here are some tips to help you communicate indirectly and effectively. Use modals like could, would, and might to soften your requests or suggestions. Incorporate phrases that suggest flexibility, such as, if possible, or, it would be great if. Show empathy by acknowledging the other person's perspective or feelings before expressing your own. Be mindful of your tone and body language, as these can also convey directness or indirectness. We hope this video sheds light on the importance and utility of not being too direct in your English communications. Embracing indirectness when appropriate can lead to more positive and productive interactions, both personally and professionally. Remember, the key is finding the right balance that suits the situation and the cultural context. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice these strategies in your daily conversations. See you in our next video.